Hi mga kudoks! Sorry if I have uploaded just now. I've been very busy for the past two weeks. As you all know, I'm a doctor in the Philippines and I'm on my PLAB pathway to become a doctor here in the UK. So just a brief background before um, I start my video. I'm a pediatrician in the Philippines. I graduated a um, few years ago. Then after one year of working as a pediatrician in the Philippines, I also work in American Samoa. American Samoa is a U.S. territory in the Pacific. After, um, after almost three years of working in American Samoa, we decided to transfer here in the United Kingdom. As of now, my wife is working as a nurse here in the hospital in the NHS and I came here just uh, March of this year on a dependent visa. Uh, before coming here in the Philippines, I already passed my OET medicine. An English exam is required before you take on your PLAB journey. So it could be either OET or Occupational English Test Medicine or it could also be IELTS. I also had a video before comparing IELTS and your OET. Just take a look just take a look on my videos since i arrived march of this year i was reviewing for my plab one exam so approximately i studied uh, plab one for around um march april may june july august so i studied for approximately maybe five uh, and a half months so five five months and 15 days maybe but um, I was I was like on a serious mode on the last maybe two months of my exam. Uh, I only use Plabable as my source um, for Plab One, as what was advised to me by my um, by my friends and others who already took the Plab One exam. Fortunately, uh, Plabable is more than enough to pass my Plab One. So, like what happened to me, I only studied um, Plabable, which is already more than enough for me to get the uh, passing grade. So, the passing grade for um, August um, 2023 Plab 1 exam was 117. So, my score was around 140 to 145. So, it was a 180 multiple choice question. Um, the thing that I can say about PLAB1 exam is that it is very doable and it is easy as long as you um, study the right source. So there are a lot of takers who are telling that you need multiple source to um, pass PLAB1. But for me, in my own experience, PLABable is more than enough. Actually, you will ha have a hard time finishing the whole PLABable course. So the technique is that you just need to um, repeat Plabable for at least two times. So you study it by subject. So if once you already purchase your Plabable, um, you also uh, need to um, purchase the Plabable Gems. Plabable Gems is like the text part where um, um, there is like an explanation of every diseases per per system so for example if you study cardiovascular so there's there are corresponding diseases uh, management diagno diagnostics and um, after reading the probable gems by subject um, you go to the probable questions also per system so once you're done with probable gems cardiology you also go to the probable um, MCQs or multiple choice questions. So that was my routine for the past five months for my PLAB 1. So I finished all the systems. Actually, I was able to repeat it twice and I was able to do um, at least uh, more than 10 PLABable mocks and more than um, four big mocks. And to add on, in every MCQ, there is an explanation below. It is very important th that you also read on it because it will um, supplement um, your knowledge on, what, on, on every um, question that you encounter. So again, I'll, uh, I'll repeat it. In order to pass PLAB 1, based on my experience, you only need one source and it's only 
plabable. So you just go through your plabable gems per system. After that, you go to the plabable MCQs. After answering, there's a text below um, explaining the answer of every question and you also read on it because it will also um, solidify your knowledge regarding that disease entity. Apart from plabable MCQs, plabable gems, you also need to answer the plabable mocks, at least more than maybe more than 10 plabable mocks in order for you to practice um, answering questions with a timer. Then you also need to answer the plabable um, big mock, which, which you can also avail through the plabable um, app. Aside from that, you also need to um, practice that you answer every question in just one minute or maybe around 50 seconds because to be honest your number one um, enemy during the exam is time although you know the answers and although the questions look very familiar um, during the exam you will feel um, tense or you will feel scared that you might not finish the exam so you need to be fast and make sure that you practice answering it in less than one minute so if you just study plabable with the plabable gems, MCQs, the mocks, and big mocks, and uh, practicing it in less than one minute every question, for sure you will ace your plab one exam. All right. So I will show you my scores um, during my um, during my review. So I made a list on all my plabable mocks and also my big mocks so I, I added everything and I took the average um, because I want to compare if it will be if it, if it will also be my score during my actual plab one then fortunately that my average score on my um, plabable mocks and also my plabable big mocks is all is almost the same with my actual plab one score so that's why I can I can really say that plabable is more than enough for you to pass your plab one exam. So if you are confused on what to study, if if you need to study other sources, um, in my own experience, I pass my plab one exam with just plabable, and my score is more than the passing score. For those who are asking, um, how much? time is needed for you to study plab one in my own opinion and in my own experience five months of studying is enough but i think three to four months of studying plab one through plabable is already enough and you also answer the plabable mocks and big mocks approximately um, three weeks before your PLAB 1 exam date. After um, I received my uh, PLAB 1 results that I passed, I already booked my PLAB 2 exam. Uh, I was expecting to book around March of 2024, but unfortunately, the PLAB 2 seats filled up fast. So my PLAB 2, uh, the PLAB 2 exam date that I uh, booked is on april 6 2024 or april 6 of next year so that would be my next um, challenge uh, just a brief update i already started working as a uh, early years support worker here in a hospital in the nhs so far my work is all right uh, i am still adjusting with um, the work um, I am still adjusting with my workmates and with uh, also with the children that I um, work with. So being in a nursery, um, you are uh, taking care of kids, mostly our toddlers. Um, it's really challenging for me, especially that all of them speak British English and it's quite um, hard for me because I'm not used to speaking English all the time. So at least through my vlogs like this one, I am trying hard to um, speak in English um, to the best um, that I can. So please bear with me if my English is not um, that fluent and 
um, not that good. Good luck to everyone who are taking the PLAB 1 exam on the next months. Uh, what I can say is that um, just study hard or study smart. Um, pray and take a rest. Do some exercise and for sure you will pass and ace your PLAB 1 exam. Please like and subscribe.